Nameless in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna be away from Wrestlemania and tonight we are back here in Portland for Friday Night Smackdown and we have an epic tag team main event with Wrestlemania momentum on the line welcome back to the blue brand Friday Night Smackdown once again emanating from Portland Oregon and later on tonight a tag team extravaganza Dolph Ziggler and the number one contender for Wrestlemania Drew McIntyre takes on LA Knight and the world heavyweight champion Seth freaking Rollins ladies and gentlemen speaking of LA Knight earlier today he sent out a tweet and said this it goes like this we ain't having Wrestlemania without the megastar and the marquee so I'm throwing out an open challenge to any superstar on Raw Smackdown or anyone who can lace up a pair of boots I don't care how great you are you'll never be LA Knight great hashtag yeah LA Knight throwing out an opportunity an open challenge for Wrestlemania huge news but ladies and gentlemen more on that later because it is time to kick off the show with the franchise John Cena the following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from West Newberry Massachusetts weighing in at 251 pounds John Cena! Well, last week here on SmackDown, John Cena accepted the challenge of the glorious Robert Roode. And those two men, throughout their illustrious careers, have never faced off one-on-one, -on -one, but it will happen for the first time ever on Sunday night, February the 26th at WrestleMania. The 16-time world champion John Cena, his attention was stolen from Robert Roode a few weeks ago during the midst of a matchup with the world champion Seth Rollins. Robert Roode was looking for a path to the grandest stage of them all. He found a guaranteed one in the franchise of WWE. A man who has had many WrestleMania moments over the years with a first time ever extravaganza lying in wait in just over eight nights. It is coming your way, WrestleMania Sunday, first time ever. The glorious one, Robert Roode, won in this matchup, and the challenge was accepted. The 16-time World Heavyweight Champion, the franchise John Cena versus Roode at WrestleMania. But Cena is set for action tonight against the big man, Commander Aziz. This is going to be a tall task for Cena to kick us off here in Portland on Friday Night Smackdown. And his opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 350 pounds, Commander Aziz. WrestleMania is coming your way in just eight nights, Saturday, February 25th, Sunday, February 26th. It is a live premiere weekend. Both events at 5 p.m. Eastern time will be streaming live right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. A whole lot of action planned for both nights. LA Knight's Open Challenge officially added to WrestleMania weekend. Cannot wait to get to Tampa Bay, Florida, Raymond James Stadium. The grand finale of the last year here in WWE is coming up in just eight nights at WrestleMania. We are set to kick things off here in the blue brand. Commander Aziz one-on-one -on -one with the franchise, John Cena. And what is gonna be a night all about building momentum towards the grandest stage of them all. And again, later tonight, what a tag team matchup we got for you. The Defiant LA Knight teams with the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth freaking Rollins, to take on Dolph Ziggler, a man who's had his own issues with LA Knight as well as Seth Rollins. And Ziggler will be teaming up with the number one contender for the world title at WrestleMania, the Chosen One, the Scottish Warrior, 
Drew McIntyre. The tag team match that'll be later tonight here on SmackDown. Commander Aziz has got John Cena down and out right now. Been a while since Aziz was here in action on the blue brand. John Cena's first matchup in two weeks. Who is going to get the opportunity? Who is going to get the hand raised tonight on the road to WrestleMania? Nice back suplex from Cena. You can't never count out the strength of the 16-time world champion. Again, John Cena was one-on-one -on -one with Seth Rollins two weeks ago here on SmackDown and was interrupted by the glorious, or excuse me, three weeks ago here on SmackDown and was interrupted by the glorious Robert Roode who took Cena's eye off the ball, cost him a match with John Cena, or excuse me, cost him a match with Seth Rollins. We can get it out tonight. The road to WrestleMania, I'm all kinds of amped up. And nonetheless, Rude went on to say that it was nothing personal, it was simply business. He wanted a match at WrestleMania, and he saw a golden ticket through the franchise, John Cena. And meanwhile, Cena's got his ease down off the clothesline, and I think we know what's coming off the You Can't See Me. A little five knuckle shuffle. Commander Aziz taking a fist right to the head. And now Cena, oh man, attitude adjustment, the strength of the franchise. And Cena picks up the win here tonight on SmackDown. Aziz putting up a fight. He had Cena down for a few moments, but in the end, never count out the franchise of WWE. An exciting win tonight, and momentum certainly built, but will John Cena be able to get a little bit of retribution against the glorious Robert Roode coming up on WrestleMania Sunday? Another matchup that is signed for WrestleMania Sunday for the first time ever. The almighty Bobby Lashley will meet Imperium's ring general Walter. And Friday Night SmackDown's United States Championship will be on the line. What a collision that is going to be next Sunday night, February 26th. All right now, Rick Boogs is in the ring here on SmackDown. And he is set for action in a rematch from about a month ago against the United States Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley in a rematch tonight from again about a month ago here on SmackDown against Rick Boogs. But a lot has happened for Bobby Lashley as of late as the United States Champion. Remember, he retained that gold back on January 22nd at the Elimination Chamber. He defeated Shinsuke Nakamura. But the story after the matchup, Lashley furious with MVP for sticking his nose in that contest, sending him to the back. We haven't seen MVP since, seemingly firing MVP as his manager. And ever since then, Lashley continues to dominate. He has retained that United States Championship in an open challenge against Jeff Hardy, the SmackDown after the Elimination Chamber. Now Lashley is full steam ahead with his next challenger in line, one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever in any ring against Walter on WrestleMania Sunday. Lashley may not have anybody accompanying him down to the ring anymore, but Lashley is still on top of his game, quite possibly better than ever. But Rick Boogs is interested in his own gains tonight. A clothesline takes Lashley off his feet. Lashley able to get the shoulder up quickly, but Rick Boogs coming out with a head of steam tonight. Another clothesline. Lashley defeated Rick Boogs about a month ago here on SmackDown. Boogs has clearly not forgotten and wants his win back against the United States champion. And of course, a win over Lashley could certainly put Boogs in line for a U.S. title matchup, regardless of who leaves WrestleMania Sunday as the United States champion. Remains to be seen next Sunday night, February 26th. But right now, Bobby Lashley has got Rick Boogs in a predicament. Off the hesitation, suplex and a power slam down to the mat below. Rick Boogs is no small man. That is a man pure of meat and muscle. But Bobby Lashley knows how to chop even the biggest men down. The United States champion has been on a roll ever since he won the U.S. title. On December the 21st, at Saturday night's main event, ending an only nine-day reign for Mustafa Ali. 
Lashley is retained against Jeff Hardy, against Shinsuke Nakamura, against Finn Balor and Nakamura in a triple threat match prior to the Royal Rumble. It's been an awesome reign for Lashley so far and has certainly proved his worth as the United States Champion, but will Walter be the kryptonite to the almighty? That remains to be seen. We will find out in just over eight nights, but Lashley right now beating the hell out of his opponent here in, Pol here in Portland, excuse me, Rick Boogs. Now go for that submission hold. Bit of an on con device. Normally we see Lashley lock in the hurt lock, but that ain't the only submission he's got in his arsenal. But Boog's able to battle out of it. Nice strength. Using his thick legs to his advantage. Now thick Rick. Look at this muscling up Lashley. Taking him for a ride. Bit of a tilt to world. Gonna get the US champ a little dizzy here. And he's got himself on spaghetti legs. But the rock and roller Rick Boogs finds himself back in the momentum seat in this matchup. Lashley cutting that off real quick. Lashley is out to make a statement tonight and build some final momentum towards WrestleMania. Dragged on Rick Booz. That ain't going to be easy for anybody. Meanwhile, Lashley's trying to lock in that hurt lock right now. And I believe Rick Booz, a little close to the ropes, was able to break it, but the damage done. Lashley wants the win, and he doesn't care how he gets it. That is a win for the U.S. champion tonight on SmackDown. The Hurt Lock may not have tapped out Rook Boogs. He was saved by the ropes, but nonetheless, the damage was done in the end. Here is your winner, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Another impressive victory for the United States champion, but will he still be holding the red, white, and blue come WrestleMania Sunday, one-on-one -on -one with the ring general, Walter, on February 26th. The action continues tonight in Portland as Tyler Bate goes one-on-one -on -one with Angel Garza after his win over Los Lotharios Humberto Carrillo last week. Plus, Shinsuke Nakamura battles Elias in one-on-one -on -one action here on Friday Night SmackDown. And the results of those contests see Tyler Bate continuing his winning ways over Los Lotharios. That is a victory over Angel Garza. Plus, the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura, puts down Elias here tonight in Portland. WrestleMania weekend kicks off in just eight nights, but we are back inside the arena in Portland and Alpha Academy's Chad Gable set for a one-on-one -on -one affair against a man he is no stranger to, the one, the only, Ricochet. Coming up on WrestleMania Saturday, Ricochet and Ali set to compete in the finals of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic against Priest and Dijakovic from Raw. And his opponent, accompanied by Mustafa Ali from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Well, SmackDown's Ricochet is actually heading to Raw this Monday night as we get a WrestleMania preview triple threat between Ricochet, Dijakovic, and one half of the tag team champions, Johnny Gargano. And then next week here on SmackDown, the other three of the teams, Priest, Ali, and the other half of the tag team champions, Tommaso Ciampa, all gonna be on SmackDown. A pair of triple threat matches on the final Raw and SmackDown before WrestleMania. And that all revolves around again, the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic that will take place on WrestleMania Saturday. Ricochet and Mustafa Ali. We'll meet Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, a SmackDown versus Raw affair. And the winners of that match, 
will move on just 24 hours later to WrestleMania Sunday to fight Johnny Organo and Tommaso Ciampa for the WWE World Tag Team titles. So all six of those men gonna get a crack at each other next week in a pair of triple threat matches on Raw and SmackDown. Cannot wait for the final Raw and SmackDown stops before the grandest stage of them all. Right now, Ricochet continuing his busy schedule here on SmackDown against an old rival in Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. Back in Ricochet's Cruiserweight Championship reign, we're dating back to September the 10th of last year at Judgment Day. He actually defended the gold successfully over Chad Gable. An incredible matchup. Chad Gable, again, no strangers with the one and only. All these months later, looking to get that win back. Maybe no titles on the line tonight, but certainly some bragging rights and momentum. Came off the top with the elbow there. Ricochet able to battle out of it. Ricochet and Ali made their way to the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic for WrestleMania by defeating Imperiums, Fabian Eichner and Marcel Barthel. And then last week here on SmackDown, defeating Legado Del Fantasmas, Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza. Now again, it is a SmackDown versus Raw affair against Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. Former World Tag Team Champions in their own right. Ricochet trying to get back into this matchup. He's got his tag team partner Ali with him at ringside. Otis on the other side of the ring. Nice drop kick there for the highlight reel of SmackDown. And Ricochet's got that look in the eye. Keep your eyes. He's taking flight over the top rope. Down he goes, taking Gable out along the way. There's a reason they call Ricochet the human highlight reel of Friday Night SmackDown. And while we're at it, there's a reason they call Mustafa Ali the heart and soul of Friday Night SmackDown. Two competitors that give it their all each and every time they step foot inside the squared circle. And an opportunity to win the Dusty Cup in just eight nights. Meanwhile, to win here tonight, not just yet. Ricochet is no stranger to the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. He has won it before. Oh, man, and he goes for the Phoenix Splash, but Gable gets the knees up. Chad Gable not interested in WrestleMania situations with Ricochet and Ali. I'm sure Alpha Academy feels some type of way being slated and not participating in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Chad Gable comes off the top rope and delivers a missile drop kick right to the dome of the one and only. And now back up to the top. Gable is going high risk. Looking for a high reward tonight. Picture perfect moonsault. And that may do it. Gable to the cover. And a close call there, but Ricochet able to get the shoulder off the canvas. Chad Gable wants the victory, and he wants it desperately. What a maneuver that was. A beautiful moonsault by Gable, but not enough to keep Ricochet down. Ricochet not only knows how to take it to the air, but he also knows how to absorb the blows from high risk. There's a counter by Ricochet, and a nice Pele kick to the back of the head. Enough to knock anybody out, twice on Friday. Open Gable off here, and there's a little bit of the strength out of the one and only. Spine buster on Chad Gable. And I think we know what's coming. Ricochet looking to strut his stuff here on the blue brand. Up and over, and here he comes. Moonsault. Nobody does it like the former Cruiserweight Champion of Friday Night SmackDown. And now he's got Gable in the air, cradles him up, and brings him down to the canvas. Package into the cover, not just yet, as Gable gets the shoulder up, and that has got to be a surprise for Ricochet. One of Ricochet's best maneuvers is that cradle pile driver. Oh, wait a minute, Pele kick! And follows it up with a shooting star press. Oh, the Chad Gable kicks out again. You see the look in the eyes of the one and only. Ricochet thought he had this thing on multiple occasions, but Chad Gable giving this fight everything he's got in the tank tonight. Surviving that cradle driver from Ricochet. Some more offense as well. Now Alpha Academy's own trying to get back into this match. Over one of the men that will fight in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic in just eight nights on WrestleMania Saturday. Going for a neck breaker, but Gable was having none of it. Wins tonight for Chad Gable. You gotta believe with all this Tag Team Championship talk surrounding Ricochet and Ali, surrounding Priest and Dijakovic, and DIY. If Gable wins tonight, you gotta believe Alpha Academy's gonna be in the running for a future Tag Team Championship opportunity.
will tell in due time, but right now Gable has just got to focus on winning this singles matchup before he can worry about Alpha Academy's tag team affairs. But Ricochet getting back into this matchup on loading on Chad Gable. And now back up to the top rope. Ricochet looking for the Phoenix Splash, and this time he hits it. Went for it earlier to no avail. This time lands it flush, but Gable again gets the shoulder up. Man, what a matchup we are getting between these two competitors here in Portland tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Gable with an elbow right to the rib cage of a human highlight reel SmackDown. Big man Otis loves what he sees at ringside. Ricochet again, he's in this matchup here tonight, but he's got to compete this coming Monday on Raw. Triple threat with Dominic Dijakovic and one half of the tag team champions, Johnny Gargano. And the next week here on SmackDown, Mustafa Ali will be inside the ring with two Raw competitors making their presence felt on SmackDown for one night only, Damian Priest and the other half of the tag team champions, Tommaso Ciampa. It's gonna be an epic week in WWE. Next week, Raw, SmackDown, and of course, WrestleMania weekend streaming live right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Ricochet sending Gable to the corner. Gable avoiding whatever the one and only had in mind. And another counter by Alpha Academy's own. And he's going to whip Ricochet into the corner. Gable's wheels are spinning now. Ricochet avoids it. Tit for tat we go here. Kick to the gut, however. Double underhook. Slamming him down on the canvas. Ricochet may be down and out. You know, it's been a very exhausting schedule for Ricochet and Ali participating in the Dusty Classic. And then Ricochet was in action prior to the Dusty Classic against Fabian Eichner. Wait a minute, small package here. Will that do it? Almost had him, almost stole the victory over Gable, but not just yet. Ricochet, rolling forearm there. If he can knock out Chad Gable, hopefully he can get the victory, but Gable is still fighting from bell to bell here on Friday Night SmackDown tonight. Up to the top rope, Gable, however, to push him off. Wait a minute, Ricochet moving a little too fast for Chad to keep up with, and the double knees to Chad Gable. Balls up with a senton, Ricochet rolling. And up to the top rope he goes. Shooting star press from the heavens. And that has got to do it. Wow, Chad Gable gets the shoulder romp. You have got to be kidding me. What a matchup tonight. I don't think anybody expected this kind of fight between Ricochet and Chad Gable, with two extraordinary competitors showing up and showing out here in Portland just eight days before WrestleMania. Gable's got to get back into this fight, and he's got to do it now. Ricochet, however, a couple of chops, a couple of punches, and a recall knee. Might be sending Chad Gable to the showers. And it is. Ricochet after all that, an exhausting fight. Outlast is Alpha Academy's Chad Gable and is leaving Portland, Oregon tonight, a successful victor. Momentum certainly on the side of the human highlight reel in the heart and soul of SmackDown. But will it be enough to topple? Monday Night Rolls, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic in the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic coming up on WrestleMania Saturday. And then of course the winners of that match moving on just 24 hours later to WrestleMania Sunday to battle Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, the two men who have held the gold since the Royal Rumble and the tag team titles will be on the line. WrestleMania is coming your way next weekend, Saturday, February 25th, Sunday, February 26th. It is 5 p.m. Eastern time for both events. And right now, I want to take a look at some of the matches signed for WrestleMania Saturday, such as Monday Night Rolls, All Day Austin Theory, taking on the returning American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever on WrestleMania Saturday. The Intercontinental Championship will be on the line. Two of the United Kingdom's best battle it out. The Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, the invincible number one contender, Ilya Dragunov. This is going to be a hard-hitting affair for the Intercontinental Gold.
Another first time ever matchup signed as the Nigerian Giant Omos is set to clash with the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. It is King Kong versus Godzilla in Tampa Bay, Florida. An Extreme Rules matchup will be signed, sealed, and delivered on WrestleMania Saturday between the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, and Mr. Pay-Per-View himself, Rob Van Dam. What about the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship matchup between the ballsy badass Shotzi and her tag team partner, the shiningest wizard, Tegan Knox, set to take on the way, Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. And an incredible matchup from Friday Night SmackDown signed as the Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar, will battle the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio, for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. And speaking of Rey Mysterio, signed for next week here on Friday Night SmackDown, set to go one-on-one -on -one with one-third of Legato Del Fantasma, Raul Mendoza. Will he build momentum before his clash with Santos Escobar, or will Legato be in the driver's seat heading into WrestleMania Saturday? All remains to be seen. So much more signed for WrestleMania weekend. But it is time for your main event. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at a couple of the matchups signed for WrestleMania Sunday for Monday Night Raw. The WWE Women's Championship will be on the line as Becky Lynch takes on Asuka. Plus, in a tag team grudge match, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn look to topple the phenomenal AJ Styles as well as the rated R superstar. And in the main event of WrestleMania Sunday, it is no holds barred for the WWE Championship. The Royal Rumble match winner, Matt Riddle, takes on the Viper, Randy Orton. So much sign for WrestleMania weekend. I cannot wait to get to Tampa Bay. But here comes the number one contender, for the World Heavyweight Championship. The man who just last week here on SmackDown surprised Seth Rollins in that very wing and laid waste to him with a Claymore kick. Drew McIntyre outlasted five other challengers inside the Elimination Chamber to punch his ticket to the show of shows. And after a rough 2022, McIntyre's looking to kick down the door of 2023 as the World Heavyweight Champion. And his partner from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. As we mentioned, McIntyre had a rough 2022, came up short on almost every big opportunity that was presented being WWE Championship matches, Intercontinental Championship matches, you name it, unfortunately, McIntyre was not able to capitalize. However, McIntyre finally started to turn his luck around inside the Elimination Chamber back on January 26th, or excuse me, January 22nd, and he's been unstoppable ever since. Can he ride that momentum into Tampa Bay and take down the world champion Seth Rollins and take the big gold belt from the visionary of WWE? And from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 240 pounds, L.A. Knight. As we mentioned at the top of the hour, the defiant LA Knight has laid out an open challenge and it is officially signed on for WrestleMania Sunday. The defiant LA Knight is on the WrestleMania marquee as he wanted, but who is gonna step up to fight LA Knight at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, Florida? LA Knight's had his issues with Dolph Ziggler as of late. I'm sure Ziggler would love to be on the marquee for WrestleMania, but Will Dolph Ziggler be the first one to sign that open contract? All remains to be seen, but tonight Ziggler's got an opportunity and retribution over a man who knocked him off a few weeks ago here on the blue brand, that being the defiant L.A. Knight. But L.A. Knight ain't coming alone here in Portland because here comes the visionary, the revolutionary, and most importantly, the world heavyweight 
champion of Friday Night SmackDown, Seth Freakin' Rollins! And from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins! He has been dominating Friday Night SmackDown ever since winning the gold. Will that luck continue? In just eight nights, WrestleMania Saturday, it is the Visionary versus the Scottish Warrior for the World Heavyweight title. Rollins has retained the gold over John Cena at the Royal Rumble. Dolph Ziggler at the Elimination Chamber. And you remember back when Rollins won the gold initially, it was on December the 9th in Las Vegas at the All-Star Kickoff, where you outlasted John Cena, Robert Roode, and most importantly in this situation, Drew McIntyre in a four-way elimination match to win the World Heavyweight title. Will the result be the same come WrestleMania? We'll find out in eight nights, but it is main event time here on SmackDown. Ziggler and McIntyre versus Knight and Rollins. Ziggler and McIntyre, no strangers to teaming up with each other. They're actually WWE Tag Team Champions about five years ago. So obviously some time has passed, but you gotta wonder if there's still some chemistry there between the show off and the Warrior. Famous are by Dolph Ziggler, now tag it in. The number one contender for WrestleMania, Drew McIntyre, who has had his own issues with LA Knight in recent history. McIntyre owns two victories over the defiant LA Knight here on SmackDown. But remember what went down after that first one. We're getting back to December right now, but LA Knight had dropped Drew McIntyre post bell with a low blow in the middle of the ring. You know, McIntyre has fought LA Knight since then. I'm sure he has not forgotten about that disrespectful act by the defiant LA Knight. A lot of scores to be settled in this tag team matchup tonight and then all leading to WrestleMania in just eight nights. Raymond James Stadium. McIntyre now, a big man. Muscles LA Knight down to the canvas with that neck breaker. Now a tag made to the show off. Frequent tags here by former tag team champions. LA Knight whipping Ziggler off into the opposing corner. There's a tag made to the world heavyweight champion, Seth Rollins. And we're going to see a little double team action here out of this new combination. And Rollins again owns a recent victory over Dolph Ziggler, retained the world championship over the show off in Anaheim, back at the Elimination Chamber on January 22nd. It was an awesome matchup. Ziggler had an opportunity to be the one standing across the ring from the Elimination Chamber winner, which ended up being Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania, but unfortunately Ziggler came up short on the 22nd of January back in Anaheim, California. I'm sure Rollins would love to just pick apart Dolph Ziggler and not have to waste any time fighting Drew McIntyre tonight. But meanwhile, Rollins better keep his eye on the ball because McIntyre just got tagged in and all. Of course, Seth Rollins tags out, tagging in LA Knight. He wants no part of Drew McIntyre tonight on SmackDown. I'm sure Rollins remembers McIntyre laying him out inside of that ring last week with a Claymore kick after Rollins had defeated Dexter Loomis in the main event. Seth Rollins would rather wait till WrestleMania to get his hand on McIntyre. Meanwhile, Drew, my goodness! Overhead throw into the abyss. Sending LA Knight over the top rope. And LA Knight trying to outrun McIntyre here, but I think he's just trying to get, get a breather after McIntyre just sent him into the front row. There's a counter by Knight taking out the knee of Drew McIntyre. Oh, well, Knight goes for a shot. McIntyre having none of it. Dropping Knight with a DDT. McIntyre looking to build some momentum towards the main event of WrestleMania. The opportunity he has been waiting a year for here in WWE. And that's to be a world champion again. 2022 plagued Drew McIntyre with bad luck. He had failed on multiple occasions to become the number one contender for the WWE Championship on Raw. He had failed on multiple occasions to become the Intercontinental Champion. And of course he failed on December the 9th at the All-Star Kickoff to initially win the world title, but now he has a chance to right all those wrongs. Coming up at WrestleMania, wait a minute, going for the Future Shock DDT, but LA Knight 
Impressive counter there, like it or not. Goes over and arm drags McIntyre down. And yeah, where McIntyre's down, this is when Rollins decides he wants to get in the matchup. Beat down his WrestleMania opponent while McIntyre's down and out. Never said we like Seth Rollins. Guess you can't knock the blueprint of the architect, but certainly don't have to like it or respect it. The World Heavyweight Champion hits the ropes, trying to do a number on his WrestleMania opponent. But I'm sure that miss is gonna send Rollins running, but McIntyre making sure the champ ain't going nowhere. Into the cover. Rollins able to get the shoulder up, but man, what it could mean to the psyche of both competitors heading into WrestleMania if McIntyre could pin Seth Rollins in this tag team matchup. You gotta believe that would give McIntyre all the confidence in the world that he could defeat Rollins on the grandest stage of them all. And you gotta think Rollins would certainly be in his own head about defeating Drew McIntyre. Nonetheless, Dolph Ziggler back in this matchup and Rollins making him pay for it. It's been a great night of action here on SmackDown and coming up the final Raw and SmackDown before we get to WrestleMania. And already signed for next week's go home show here on the Blue Brand, triple threat matchup. Mustafa Ali, Damian Priest, and one half of the WWE World Tag Team Champions, Tommaso Ciampa. Plus the Cruiserweight Champion, Rey Mysterio, set to go one-on-one -on -one with Legado Del Fantasma's Raul Mendoza. Both those matches coming your way next week here in the Blue Brand. Wolf Ziggler now tagging in Drew McIntyre, and again, Rollins finds himself not in the driver's seat and decides to tag out to the defiant LA Knight. LA Knight issuing an open challenge for WrestleMania Sunday. He wanted to make sure his mega star status in his mind was on the marquee and the bright lights for WrestleMania. And somehow, some way, he got that contract official. You just gotta wonder who's gonna be the other signature on the contract, but I guess we'll find out on Sunday night, February 26th. Dolph Ziggler back in this matchup right now. Ziggler! Super kick, you might find LA Knight's head. Oh, I was gonna say in the rafters, but what a buzz kill, LA Knight. Rope break there, Dolph Ziggler almost had him, and LA Knight needs to catch a breather and sends Dolph Ziggler over the top rope. That was a close call for the show off, hit the super kick on the money, and hey, wait a minute. LA Knight sending McIntyre off the apron. And now attacking Dolph Ziggler upon his re-entry to the ring. The defiant LA Knight. Looking to build some WrestleMania mo momentum for himself. Looking to prove his megastar status in his mind. Come WrestleMania. Ziggler getting the beat and put on him right now by the defiant Knight, the man who defeated him a few weeks ago here on SmackDown. Ziggler wants that win back and he wants it back tonight. Right now, LA Knight is in the driver's seat in your main event affair. Ziggler is dazed right now. Oh, LA Knight, my goodness, what a combination. Into the cover on Ziggler. Watch out for McIntyre saving the day for his team. But Rollins sneaking up from behind and sends the number one contender over the top rope. And the fight gonna continue on the outside, but nonetheless, LA Knight is left in the ring with Dolph Ziggler. They are the legal men, regardless of what the World Championship match at WrestleMania is doing on the outskirts of this ring. LA Knight drives Dolph Ziggler dead into the canvas. But Dolph Ziggler gets the shoulder up with the tag team main event, rolls on another moment. We have got a good one here in Portland tonight. Some of the all-stars of Friday Night SmackDown duking it out in the main event. Ziggler survived, but LA Knight dropping him with a DDT. And Dolph Ziggler may be down and out. McIntyre in the ring, but it's too late. LA Knight steals the victory. Well, McIntyre tried to save the day, but was distracted at ringside by the World Heavyweight Champion. The time he got Rollins off to him, it was too late, and LA Knight walking away with the pinfall over Ziggler. Here are your winners, LA Knight and Seth Rollins. Well, there's one more SmackDown to go before we get to WrestleMania weekend. We'll see you Monday night on Raw, and we will see you next week here on SmackDown. Good night, everybody.
taste on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Doing me no cap. I'm a rapper.